Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is the exploding watermelon. So I have uh, some uh, great neighbors that let me come over and use their grandkids. Uh, we do experiments about once a week, and today we are going to explode a watermelon. Thank you for letting us use your backyard and not mine. So adult supervision and safety goggles are required. What? Okay, so we're gonna blow up a watermelon. No, I'm not helping because that's what uh, it is. We are gonna blow up a watermelon. Okay, you're gonna. Do so the right, but can, can the science dude yeah. is oh, yeah, bringing well, the best for last <laughs> before they go back to school next week, and we are gonna blow up a watermelon. Yesterday was actually uh, National Watermelon Day, so we missed it by a day, but oh. we're still so celebrating. Yeah, so good. Okay. Perfect. Right. Absolutely we're perfect. We're gonna take the watermelon. And we're gonna put rubber bands around it. Okay. We're gonna make a prediction out there, whoever's watching, how many rubber bands to be able to squeeze it uh, all the way through to cut it in half to I, explode it. We got some guesses. 190. 190. 113. 113. How many guesses? How many, Parker? 2,000. 2,000. 2,000. Papa? 198. 198. Ken? Uh, I already know I've done oh, this experiment then, before. Then we can't so, hear from uh, him. What uh, what's happening is the potential energy is going to be squeezing it in, and then when it gets to that point when it's ready to burst, the kinetic energy is going to bring it oh, out, do that. and then uh, kind of helps us uh, cut the watermelon up for us to eat. Awesomeness! Right. Awesomeness! So we got number sixty-four size rubber bands here. Sixty-nine. Sixty-four. 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 Sixteen. Seventeen. There's no one zero. Oh. Eighteen. Parker. Come in the middle. 96. 97. Okay, it's already closer to Papa though, so he wins. Here, I had 198. Yeah. <laughs> 199. You I think you got about another 80 or 90 to go. Yeah, what? Be good. 200! 90. It's definitely got his figure going. 394. 95. Are we going to beat the record? 96. 97. 98, 99, now we're at 300. Yeah. Oh, 300! You need to make the 96, 97, 90, 98, 99. Oh, you're gonna make it. Woo! Wow. He's getting tired because I know I am. 13, 14. Are take a break? So I slowed it down here in slow motion. Um, we're starting to come up here. Uh, Here's 416. You can see Papa backing up. He knows. He sees a crack in it. He sees a little bit of liquid pumping out the sides as the rubber bands are squeezing that watermelon. Uh, it's about to explode any minute. When you see cracks and water coming out, he knows better. But P is not going to let that happen. Come on, Papa. Come back one more. <laughs> you can do it. Uh, so the boys decide, hey, they aren't coming in. We're doing number 417 right here. P does get Papa to come in. I'm going to circle around to try to get a better view of this watermelon explosion. As they're trying to put 418 on, it's boom! <laughs> explosion everywhere. 15 feet all around the yard. So thankful they use your, their yard, not mine. <laughs> it's just watermelon everywhere. Success. Final count, 417 rubber bands. It's a success. Oh, 15! So here it is in slow motion from a different angle. You just saw Papa was backing up. He sees a crack. He sees water coming out the top. He knows it's about to hit. And right there you can see the rubber bands halfway cut through. I mean, it's slicing that thing perfectly. And one of the favorite shots right here that we freeze frame is how P's rubber band is catching the top of the, the watermelon, which basically stopped it from launching about 10 feet in the air. Uh, though he did have watermelon pieces at least 15 feet off to the side. I mean, it was a complete mess. 
And I uh, know it was great that we did it in their backyard. Uh, what a fantastic, fun science experiment. Yeah. 13, 14. Oh, 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 yeah, this doesn't make too much of a mess, does it? We won! Look at you! I was trying to get out of the way.